Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert for the Finance News Network and joining me from Mustang Resources is Executive Director Andrew Law. Andrew, welcome to FNN. Hi Carolyn, thanks very much for having me. Andrew, could you start by introducing the company to us? Mustang Resources is an ASX listed company. Uh, MUS is our ticker on the ASX. Uh, we're a diamond and graphite uh, focused project. We have two projects, one being the diamonds in Mozambique. In fact, both, company, uh, both projects are in Mozambique. Um, the Slave River Diamond Project is to the southeast in Mozambique. And the graphite project is in the, I guess it's becoming the world renowned uh, uh, graphite province at the moment with uh, two significant other companies with resources there. Andrew, looking at your diamond project in more detail, where is it located and what does it contain? The uh, Saibay River Diamond Project is to the east uh, of Mozambique. It's right alongside the border with Zimbabwe. And uh, we had a theory that there were alluvial diamonds in that area. Uh, Mozambique has never had, it's not known and never has found any diamonds. So we had this theory that uh, these alluvial diamonds had actually washed out of Zimbabwe, the significant diamond fields in Zimbabwe, and they'd washed uh, out into our project area. And at the moment we have found 18 diamonds. So we proved the theory that they're all gem quality stones. We proved the theory that there are diamonds in Mozambique. Okay, so what's taking place on site? Currently, uh, now that we've proved our theory, we've actually structured our bulk sampling program to achieve about 100 tonnes a day. We're now in the process of stepping that uh, bulk sampling project up to 1,000 tonnes a day. Um, that, uh, has been, that expansion has been commissioned right now, and probably in the first week of September we will actually be producing at that rate. One of the other probably more significant um, pieces of equipment that we've purchased on site Originally we started off doing hand sorting of diamonds, now we're going to a flow sort system which is basically an automatic system so we can speed up and get more accuracy of the diamonds that we're actually recovering. And what are your next steps for the diamond project? The next steps for the Saiba River Diamond Project, as I said, were the completion of the expansion that we've started from 100 tonnes a day to 1,000 tonnes a day. All the equipment is on site at the moment, it's been commissioned. So during the first week of September this year, we'll be uh, into full production at the 1,000 tonnes a day. Our objective and strategy there is to open up the basement level gravels and get to the, to the bottom end of the um, terraces that we've been digging at. Again, we believe those to be the, uh, the jewellery boxes or potentially where the, the jewellery boxes are. Um, we plan to mine um, the bulk sample program at 1,000 tonnes a day for the next three or four months. That should give us a better scale of how big and potentially how big the project could actually be. Early next year, our plan then is to then work out exactly how far we should expand the project to go to in terms of production size. That we'll only know once we've completed this test program. Now looking at the graphite project, where is it located and what do you know about the mineralogy? The graphite project is located um, about 2,000 kilometres uh, to the northeast of Maputo. Uh, it's actually directly opposite the port of Pemba, about 200 kilometres in, and the, that's that area, the Capo Delgado area, is becoming known as the sort of the world's graphite resources. You've got two significant companies there, one in Soraya, they've got a resource of 1.3 billion tonnes and about 10% uh, TGC. Uh, graphite and you've got Triton resources also about 1.5 uh, billion tonnes around about uh, 12 or 13 percent TGCs. Our project um, we've actually got uh, 66,000 hectares of uh, licenses in that area. We surround both Soraya and uh, Triton to the north of Triton and to the south of Soraya. Um, at this early stage of the game uh, we've only drilled two IC holes in our project um, to uh, get a bit of a sighter on the on the potential graphite and recently we have just committed to uh, the start of a SkyTem program. SkyTem is uh, an aeromagnetic um, geophysical system that's going to fly all the, over all of the leases and uh, give us a bit of a picture of where potentially the graphite is and probably a bit of the extent of the graphite leases. The reason we've done that is primarily to uh, get a better handle on exactly where the graphite is and obviously to target the, the potentially the, the better signature type of graphite rather than over our 66,000 hectares is you know why um, you know you can drill all over that but we really want to target and have a focused target drilling program 
which hopefully will commence uh, in October this year. And finally, Andrew, investors and resources have had a tough time over the last couple of years. What makes Mustang Resources so compelling? We believe we offer the uh, investors um, with the Save River Diamond uh, project. It's a brand new project. As I said, diamonds have never been discovered in uh, Mozambique before. They're all alluvial stones. They're all gem quality stones. Um, we haven't, at this point in time, we've proved the theory, but we haven't um, been able to get down to the basement zone into those jewelry boxes to actually prove exactly how many diamonds are uh, in our property. As I said, we've got 22,000 hectares. We've only just touched the surface. There's a tremendous amount of upside. As I said, there's a jewelry quality, quality stones, and that's what the market is really looking for. Our Balamo Graphite project is in the northern part of Mozambique. Uh, we currently have 66,000 uh, hectares uh, of land tenure, so we're, we're the biggest uh, landholder in that area. Um, the, we just committed to um, starting off the SkyTem. Once we do that, we'll then start a drilling program. And most people know from an investment point of view is once you start to put out a, a resource, a dual compliant resource, which we'll, it we'll be attempting to do uh, very early next year, uh, that's where there's going to be significant upside for investors who are interested in the story. Andrew Law, thank you for the introduction. Thank you very much, Caroline.